What's up guys, it's your girl Bomb Jalam and it's time for me to get into one of more of my favorite things to do is kind of like top rate teams or top rated videos or whatever. So I wanted to talk about uh, a few teams that I would like to see go to the playoffs this season that did not make it to the playoffs last season. So first up, we have the Denver Nuggets. Their backcourt has remained solid despite several injuries in their roster. Um, they've been having solid contributions from Nikola Jokic, Gary Harris, Jamal Murray, even Watch Hard and Gomez. He's been doing good. Miles Pump, yeah, Plumley <laughs> has been doing well. Um, right now, they have the highest offensive rebound percentage and overall rebound percentage. And it's crazy because they were playing great last season and they did not make it to the playoffs. I think they were like one game out of making it and the Timberwolves ended up getting the eighth seed. Um, but at the moment, currently they're top 10 in defensive and offensive rating. And they've been playing phenomenally. I love Jokic, he's one of my favorite centers. So I'm very excited to see them in the playoffs. If they make the first or second seed, I think it's gonna be great. They have been consistently in the running for the first seed in the Western Conference. They've been remaining at the first seed. Um, I think right now their record is like 27 and 11. They've been playing really good on both ends of the court. Next up, we have the Detroit Pistons. The Detroit Pistons, they have been having some troubles this season. Right now, they're six games below 500, and they've lost their last four games. But they were doing pretty well last season before a lot of their injuries with Reggie Jackson, Reggie Bullock. Um, and so now, I thought that this season, with them being at full health, Blake Griffin coming over from the Clippers. I really thought they were going to take off. It's not to say that they won't. They have a great coach in Dwayne Casey, so that can always turn around. They have like 42 more games in the season. So, so many things can happen, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm hoping to see them in the playoffs. They have that gritty, grind play style to them. It's more of an old school style of play. Of course, they shoot threes, but they're, they're a good pace team when it comes to going, running up and down the floor. They give you a lot of mid-range shots, um, a lot of driving to the paint, you know, the aggressiveness in the paint. So I want to see more of that, and I want to see them get a little bit better on defense. But like I said, I would like to see them in the playoffs. So next up are the Dallas Mavericks. They are home to one of my favorite plays ever, Dirk Nowitzki. And right now they have two young superstars in DSJ and Luka Doncic. DSJ was one of my favorite rookies last season. And Luca is one of my favorites this season. They've been playing so good. Like Luca has blown all the other rookies from this season out of the water. Like I'm pretty sure he's gonna get rookie of the year. Uh, but they have a solid center in DeAndre Jordan and Dwight Powell. That, that can't talk. Dwight Powell. <laughs> They have solid wing contributions from Harrison Barnes, um, good defense from Wesley Matthews. Even when J.J. Barea comes off the bench, he gives the offense that spark and things just really take off. So there are a few games under 500 right now. They're at 19 and 22. But I think if they could tighten up on both ends of the floor, it would be cool to see Luka and DSJ get some playoff experience, similar to how Donovan Mitchell got his last season. Last but not least, the Sacramento Kings. <laughs> I am so proud of this team. Last year, I saw so much potential in De'Aaron and Bogdanovich and Buddy Heald. And this season, they just completely turned around. They've been remaining close to 500. Right now, they're right at 500 with 21 games, one and 21 losses. Um, but they're just so fun to watch. They're exciting to watch. They push, they push the pace of the game when they run up and down the floor. De'Aaron has noticeably improved his game this season. Um, I'm loving the effort I'm seeing from them. They're closing out games. They're having double digit leads. They're coming from being down during the game and winning. So I'm excited to see them. People like Nemanja Bayelitsa, Harry Giles, Marvin Bagley, they're all contributing in good ways. Even Yogi Ferrell, he's been doing his thing coming off the bench. I do wanna see more aggressiveness from Carly Stein more of him finishing at the rim. I think if you're gonna be in the playoffs, you have to have that solid center to hold you down in the paint, to hold you down, down low. So I do wanna see him get better. It is only his third year, so of course there's always gonna be room for improvement. He's young, he can still flourish, you know what I mean? But I would love to see the Sacramento Kings in the playoffs. 
I think they're super exciting to watch. They're young. To me, they kind of remind me of how last season, they're kind of like how the Bulls are this season. Like they had the talent, but they didn't know how to finish. They didn't know how to win, but they had that fire in them and they had that aggressiveness and that talent in them. So yeah, those are the four teams I would love to see in the playoffs this season that did not make it last season. I'm hoping that some of the people, well, I know probably Jokic is gonna go to the All-Star game. Hopefully De'Aaron makes it, De'Aaron and Buddy Heald. Um, so we'll just have to see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see y'all in my next one.